heating up a large pot and a large stock pot full of water. Time to get cracking, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, shrimp fettuccine. Y'all know what's up. Before we get to these vegetables, we're going to handle these shrimp right here. So what I have here is two pounds of fresh shrimp, peeled and deveined. And we're going to go ahead and season this up. First, we will add one capful of some concentrated shrimp and crab oil. And this cap's coming from an eight ounce bottle. So you may find some that are a little bigger than others, but this size here, I would say it's probably about maybe a teaspoon. Looks that way. Next, you will add one tablespoon of Cajun or Creole seasoning, whichever your preference. And lastly, a teaspoon of garlic salt. And you get your hands up in there and you mix it up. And there we go. So we're gonna cover this up and move it to the fridge. And it is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the main event of the evening. For the one in attendance. And the millions watching around the world. Choo! Paya! And our referee for the evening will be my wife. So what we have here is two sticks of butter. But for now, we're just going to take this one and a half stick and throw it up in the pot. Get it melted. Lovely. Oh, don't touch the pot. Okay, so this is actually on a low setting right now because, you know, butter can actually burn if you, you have your pot too hot when you throw it in there. Uh, meanwhile, we're also going to get this heated up to a boil, so let's raise this fire up. There we go. Boom. And once this butter has melted, we will add the vegetables. That is hot. Throw it down. Boy, that's how you make a splash. Okay, guys, so we're going to want these vegetables to get very soft. We don't really want some crunchy vegetables in our shrimp fettuccine. Uh, for many people, vegetables like this is a, is a texture thing. So if you can actually get them cooked down real soft, nobody really knows. At that point, it's just a, a sight thing. It's all in your head. Chill out. <laughs> okay, while that is sauteing, we head back over to our prepping area. We're going to cut up some garlic. So I've got five cloves of garlic right here. You can go about four or five, depending on how big they are. I mean, obviously, you can see I got, got this mamma jamma right here. And I got this little bitty guy right here. So if you got four big cloves, that's good. If not, adjust accordingly. Go ahead and chop this up. And there you go. Let's throw it in the pot. Looking good. This is sauteing up beautifully. You can see those onions are starting to get a little translucent, which is what we're looking for. Obviously, the bell pepper and celery need to cook down a little longer. This is getting closer to a boil here, so we're going to be throwing our pasta up in there real soon. All right, our water's boiling. So we're going to add a teaspoon of salt and 24 ounces of fettuccine noodles. Okay, so we're letting this cook for 10 minutes, which is a little less than the package directions. Back over to these vegetables, we're adding in one 10 ounce can of original Rotel tomatoes. We're gonna let that cook for probably about five minutes. Break up some of the stuff on the bottom. Okay, this looks great. Very pretty. At this time, we're gonna add a 14 and a half ounce can of chicken broth. Okay, our pasta is good. We're gonna go ahead and drain that. Okay, we're just gonna leave this here until we're ready for it. All right, to our pot, we are adding one 10 and a half ounce can of cream of chicken soup. Bang. All right, so I know a bunch of y'all are gonna say, why not seafood stock? Or why not cream of shrimp soup? Look, this is how I do it because nobody else is. 
My mama told me a long time ago this is how she did it, so I went ahead and threw it in mine as well. And I'm going to tell you, it comes out really good. So trust me, give this a try. But either way, you're never going to hear me go, this is how you have to do it. Make it your own. Know what I'm saying? Okay, next we are adding in one quart of half and half. There you go. Meanwhile, we are getting a saute pan heated up on a low heat. Just gonna stir this around real good. There we go. Okay guys, back over at our prepping area, I got a one pound block of jalapeno Velveeta. Now I know in the past, some of y'all have had a hard time finding the jalapeno Velveeta. Well, I've heard many success stories of people using the queso blend. So if you can't find this one, just grab the queso blend. Furthermore, if you can't find the one pound block of queso blend, just grab the two pound block, cut it in half and save the other one for another day. You can either wrap it in saran wrap or freeze it by vacuum sealing it. There you go. Okay guys, I've cut these into some cubes and I'm gonna add it to the pot. Get a couple at a time here so we don't splash all over the place. All right, so we're just gonna, you know, keep moving this around, get it melted up in there, well blended, and then we'll move on to our next step. Meanwhile, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. All right, this is melting up pretty good. So to our pan, we're gonna add that half stick of butter. And get that melted. Looks good. We're about to sear up our shrimp. First, we're gonna raise this to a little bit of a medium, medium high heat. We'll let that sit for a second. Drop in our shrimp. Woohoo! Oh! Oh, no casualties. All right, we just want to see a little bit of pink form on the outside of the shrimp. And once we do, we're going to add it to this pot over here. All right, shrimp are searing. And this has completely combined. So now we're going to add the pasta to it. This could get dangerous. Oh. Whew. Now look, don't worry if it's stuck together like that. We'll get it mixed in. Make sure you stir the shrimp. Ooh, let me tell you, that smells so good. Like a good shrimp boil or something. Mm. Okay, here, so just go ahead and just put some of the cream over there on, on top of the, the noodles, and you'll see. It'll start to break up. It just has to get blended in. See, some people like to run their pasta over water or put oil or whatever, but I like to save those starches because then the sauce you make really adheres to the pasta. Look at that, see, it's breaking up. It's gonna all come together. And there we go, look at that. I told you, don't be afraid. All right, it's been a couple minutes and our shrimp have seared up beautifully. So now we're gonna add them to this pot right here. Fantastic. Okay, we're gonna stir that in, but first you can go ahead and turn this fire off. And stir it in. Oh boy, tell me that does not look good. All right, guys. This looks great. We're going to add this to some pans now and finish it off in the oven. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I've got two 9 by 13 inch pans right here. I'm going to evenly distribute the contents of this pot in these pans. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So look, I'm gonna take one of these pans and let it cool off for a little bit. Then I'm gonna cover it real tight with some foil and stick it in the freezer. It'll be good for up to three months. When I'm ready to take it out, I just pull this bad boy out, let it defrost for about an hour, top it off with a little bit of milk, maybe half a cup, cover it with foil, and then reheat it in the oven at 350 for about 30, 40 minutes. Now, as far as this one goes, we're gonna cover it gently with foil and stick it in the oven right now. Yep, 
Let that cook for about 20, 15, 20 minutes. So check this out. As you can see, I have pressed tightly along the edges here in the seams, and I've actually put two layers of foil on this dish. It's gonna be good in the freezer. Looks just like one of them packages you get from the frozen section of your grocery store. <laughs> the time has arrived. Oh my goodness. Fix this a fresh plate of this. Oh man. Look at how good that is. Oh. We're gonna need a little more than that. Man, man, man. I'm really excited about this. This dish was actually one of the first videos I ever did. And uh, it was very popular amongst you guys. I get it, it's probably not the healthiest dish, but uh, it's a crowd pleaser. Goes over well at parties, which I know we may have one coming up. Hopefully, real soon. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take a bite. That, that's gotta be the perfect twist of pasta and shrimp you've ever seen. I, I don't wanna hear it, I don't wanna hear it. I know, I know some of y'all are saying, oh, well, there was that one time I did. Get out of here. Let's knock this out. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It's creamy. It has great, you know, seafood flavor from the shrimp and the liquid crab boil. It's got a good hint of spice because we got the Cajun seasoning. We've also got the Rotel in there. But there's enough dairy in there that it balances the whole thing out. And it just, God, it tastes so good. This is one of those dishes that you just keep eating and you full, but you can't stop eating. I don't know how I'm gonna go around that phone right there and hit the stop button because I just wanna sit here and keep eating. Mm. So good. Look at that, the sauce has just stuck to the noodles. That's what I was telling you about. It's beautiful. Well, all right, guys. We have once again knocked this out. I thank you all for tuning in. It's been a pleasure. And uh, I hope you try this and I hope you enjoy it. But uh, other than that, I got nothing else for you. See you soon. Paya! What y'all know about this? On your garlic bread.